in this session, I want us to get activated to let the kingdom of heaven flow through our lives. If you, if you haven't watched the first session of Voices today, I want to encourage you, uh, just go back and, and watch uh, Voices. Uh, the two uh, sessions are very much connected. The one built on the other one. And so in this session, we're going to quickly look how the river of God flows through our lives. And then we can going to pray and we're going to activate uh, the gifts of God inside of you. So I want to um, quickly go here. There's the kingdom of heaven. There's your spirit, your soul, and your body. Uh, the spirit of God, the glory of God is flowing through you. Uh, transform your mind uh, and um, it activates your heart so that your spirit man can be in control. And so we live by the spirit and not by the flesh. And so then what comes out the, on the other side is the fruit of the Spirit and the gifts of the Spirit. Now I want to quickly uh, just write here uh, the fruit. Uh, so let's go here, fruit. So the fruit of the Spirit um, is... Right. Love, joy, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And so these are the attributes of the Holy Spirit, the fruit that's being um, grown in your life. It grows over time, even as you mature uh, in your walk with God. You're going to more and more show the fruit of the Holy Spirit, and then many times it manifests as compassion. And as love, and people just say, "Wow, I feel so felt so loved when I were with that person." Remember, uh, the kingdom of heaven is a government of love, and His love will flow through your spirit, through your soul, through your body, and people will experience uh, the love of God. But they will not only receive the love of God. So I'm just going to write here or uh, draw a big heart around this love. They're not only going to experience this. Which is a manifestation of the love of God. But they're also going to experience the power of God. So I'm going to write here gifts. Power. With, uh, the gift of wisdom, the gift of knowledge, the gift of faith, the gift of healings, the is, the working of miracles, the gift of prophecy, the sending of spirits, um, many tongues, and then the interpretation of tongues. And so you have the fruit of the Spirit and you got the gift of the Holy Spirit and that flows through your lives. Now in Scripture... When people gave their lives to Jesus and people laid hands on them, like the Apostle Paul laid hands on some of them, or Peter, or, or different ones, and they received the Holy Spirit, one of the first manifestations that they experienced was the tongues. And tongues, they started to pray in, in tongues. Many times they prayed in tongues that people could actually understand and they could interpret it easy. Other times it was just uh, the heavenly language. And it's difficult to understand tongues, but it is still uh, the Spirit of God in you making indecision um, and speaking uh, God's um, mysteries. That's, that's what the scripture talks about. And so uh, there's, the, there's the gifts of the, the power gifts uh, and there's the fruit. Now, I want you, if you can, uh, to stand up. And I want you just to make yourself comfortable. Uh, if you don't have a space where you can stand, you can even get a pillow and you can sit on the ground if you can maybe prop up your cell phone or your computer. But I want you to get yourself into a position where you can take the next five minutes and, and just activate with me. We're going to be between five and ten minutes. We're just going to pray and we're going to activate the gift of God inside of us. And we're going to go through this whole diagram with me. And so, Father, thank you. That we can come now before you and we want to just glorify you, we worship you, we praise you and we just declare and say all 
honor belongs to you. Lord, thank you, Jesus, that you said, as it is in heaven, so let it be on earth. And so, Lord, thank you uh, that we are vessels, that we are a guide for the glory and the reality of heaven to come into this earth and to be manifested. And so, Lord, we want to bring our spirit man before you. And Lord, we declare and say, Lord, we believe in you. We put our faith in you. And Lord, we thank you, Jesus, that we can keep our eyes on you because you are our hope. And you give us the picture and the image and the pattern of what you want us to do. You give us um, a reason to be and to live and um, a blueprint for our lives. And so, Lord, we declare right now that we believe in you. We put our faith in you and in the hope and in the picture. And I want to encourage you, uh, take some time and just close your eyes and say, Lord, give me a picture of the hope. And then you're going to see how Lord, the Lord is going to show you, I'm calling you into business, I'm calling you to have a family, uh, I want you to move there, I want you to minister there, I want you to phone that one. You know, it's going to be short term, term and medium and long term pictures of the hope that God has that this will give you. And then we can pray. And so Lord, thank you that we can just open our hearts with thanksgiving uh, before you. We can come boldly before your throne of grace and pray. Lord, thank you that you give each one that's listening right now a download uh, of revelation. Lord, we just declare we worship you. Uh, we honor you. Uh, we just uh, glorify and magnify your name. Uh, we declare that you are the great I am. You are uh, our healer. You are our Father, our Provider, your, you are your Tay of uh, and you are uh, God Almighty. And Lord, we, we worship you. Uh, Jesus is no name uh, above your name. And so, Lord, thank you uh, that you have called us to be your children. And so, we, we worship you. And so, Lord, we even listen to our uh, intuition, Lord, and we activate the gift of intuition. And as we go through life, Lord, thank you that that intuition will help us. To live our holy life before God. Lord, we declare, Lord, we surrender ourselves before you. Lord, we have reverence for you. And Lord, we set ourselves to have the fear of the Lord in our lives. And to listen to the Holy Spirit. To obey your instructions and your plan, strategies and commands that you are giving to us. And so, Lord, thank you that we can activate our spirit man. And we're going to live according to the spirit. And we're not going to live according to the flesh. And so, Lord, now we bring our mind before you, Lord. Uh, we, we ask that you come and wash every thought in our imagination uh, with the blood of Jesus. And, Lord, that you cleanse us. Lord, uh, our, our negative self-image, Lord, we bring it before you. Lord, wash it clean with the blood of Jesus. Lord, thank you that you give us a new image of how you think and, and talk about us. Lord, thank you uh, that you help us to renew our minds, to think like you th uh, think and to th uh, think your thoughts. Uh, Lord, now our bodies. Lord, we offer our bodies before you. Lord, we take responsibility uh, for our bodies to be holy and healthy and strong. And we realize this body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. And what needs to come out of it is the fruit of the Spirit and the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And so, Lord, uh, Lord I, I make a decision today, Lord, uh, to walk in your love. I'm going to be an expression of your love, government, your, your kindness, uh, your humility is going to come out of me. Lord, thank you for your joy. Lord, thank you for a river of joy that's inside of me. And Lord, with joy right now, I draw from the wells of salvation. That's Isaiah chapter 12 verse 3. Lord, I draw from that well of salvation with joy in the name of Jesus. Lord, thank you for long suffering. And Lord, thank you that you give me uh, strength. Uh, to wait and for your timing and for your plan so I can be in sync with you. Lord, thank you for your kindness uh, to flow out of me. And Lord, I make a decision today, Lord, to be generous, to be a giver, uh, to, to always have time to help people and al allow God's um, uh, righteousness and His kindness to flow through my life. He's a darker. Lord, thank you for your goodness. And uh, Lord, uh, I want to be godly. I want to be grafted into you. You are the vine. We are the branches. And so you are good. And so Lord, thank you that we can be grafted into you. So that your goodness, your godliness can flow through us. Lord, faithfulness. Lord, we declare now 
we're going to multiply what you have given uh, us and we're going to be faithful. And just like you said to that one that took the five and made a ten and the one that made the, the, the two, four, you said, you you good and faithful servant. And so, Lord, we want to be faithful. We want to multiply and increase and dominate on this earth and bring heaven to earth. Lord, thank you for your gentleness and that you give us strength right now so that we can be uh, gentle. And Lord, thank you for self-control. And we declare uh, and we say even to our soul, soul, you will be controlled by the spirit. You will not be controlled by the flesh. And we're going to walk by the spirit. Is that not exciting? Now, Lord, we want to activate the gifts of the spirit in us. And so I want you to put your hand on your stomach and let's just start to pray in tongues. If you haven't received the Holy Spirit, just hold your hands. Lord, we receive a fresh infilling of your Holy Spirit. Lord, the same people in Acts received the Holy Spirit over and over again. They received in Acts 2 and Acts 4 and then later again and again. And so Lord, thank you that we can receive of your Holy Spirit. Lord, thank you that everything in our lives is shaken and that which is of you will stand and will be gold and will be strong and will be our foundation where you build our house on you and so lord we we receive your holy spirit right now i want you to breathe in lord we receive your holy spirit and i want you then to just start to pray in tongues with me Lord, thank you for your tongues that start to flow out of our life. See, ya ra ra la ma kia kia kara la 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 ma kia 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 kara la la ma. Oh, Lord, thank you uh, for. Um, wisdom and knowledge that flows through us. Lord, we activate uh, the wisdom of God. Lord, the wisdom is the ability to see and to receive your strategies uh, for our future and for other people's future. And the knowledge, Lord, is to, to know. And so, Lord, we open up our spirit, man, to, to walk in knowledge uh, in, and in wisdom in the name of Jesus. Lord, uh, Lord, we activate that gift of faith. And so, Lord, we declare as we uh, speak over our finances over, as we pray for people uh, that are sick as we, as we come into our societies Lord we're going to walk in faith we're not going to complain uh, but we can to stand and we're going to have the fire of the Holy Spirit inside of us Lord thank you for healings Lord thank you hold your hands like that Lord thank you that these hands can heal that the healing power of God is on this hands and my hands are burning with your fire Lord thank you for miracles the working of miracles and Holy Spirit I'm not going to back off but I'm going to be obedient to you to work miracles through my life Lord and so right now Lord I activate the gifts of prophecy and Lord thank you that you are telling us that we are in a Red Sea situation and the Red Sea is opening up right now and you're giving breakthrough 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 for everyone that's listening to this Lord uh, Lord thank you that this uh, that we can prophesy your life we can prophesy open ears open eyes to go into heaven and to bring heaven to earth lord we can prophesy that you are raising up the larger company and that you are changing this world lord you bring righteousness in lord we declare even for the governments lord that you put righteous government in place and i we prophesy today uh, and we litigate from heaven and we declare and we say lord you're putting righteous government in place and so lord thank you uh, for the discerning of spirits and lord uh, thank you that we can ascend that your winds are moving and Lord we discern that the Holy Spirit is on a move and revival is coming it's almost like when the clouds uh, pull close and you see the the uh, um, thunder and the lightning and you know it's going to rain now in any moment Lord we discern that your spirit is on the move and Lord thank you uh, for uh, tongues and Lord thank you that you say that you must uh, you know, uh, build up your, your most holy faith by praying in tongues and that we are edified by praying in tongues. And so, Lord, we pray in tongues now. And Lord, even as we pray in tongues, Lord, I also activate the gift of the interpretation of tongues. And so, Lord, thank you that we can reveal your mysteries on this earth. Lord, you are so good to us. And so I just want you, where you are, just for one uh, uh, time again, just breathe in. Holy Spirit, receive you. Receive your life into us. And Lord, thank you that we can have your strength and your joy and that we can walk by your Spirit. Lord, we give you all honor and praise. I trust that you are blessed. I want to encourage you just keep on activating the Spirit of God so that there can be a flow from heaven to earth of God's power, of His Spirit, of heaven, uh, of the image and the pattern that's in heaven can be duplicated here on earth. Uh, God is going to do great things. 
He's going to do great things in your life. He's going to use you to fulfill this amazing picture that God has for you. God bless you.